Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. We have very beautiful spring weather and I'm outside in the woods at my forest cabin at my fox hut because I have to do three different projects today. Project number one is here behind me. Maybe you remember in the past there was just a wall out of dead branches and I um, make something new, I create something new, I remove all the branches because over the winter months you have a lot of storms and a lot of wood is falling down. Um, and this is a perfect construction and building wood. So I had the idea to create here a combination out of a shelter and a wall. So it is like an invisible um, area here which protect me from seeing outside around in the forest and it is a shelter if I have guests over the night or I want to sleep at myself under the shelter or just to play for the kids and before it looks like this wall here so this is just needles um, small branches bark everything which comes down from the trees and I want to remove this here too and make the shelter here a little bit longer than it just is looking better and a little bit more cleaner and I had a little bit more space for my guests. So this is project number one. Project number two is here. I have here outside of my cabin this beautiful space to sit there, to eat, relax. Um, but I have here this open space and as you know I have a compost toilet here and when I walk in the night out of the door and go to the toilet Aika is always following me because she's a perfect guardian dog. She's always watching, always protecting but I don't want that some days she, she run into the woods in the night. So actually she does it not but maybe in the future. So this is not really a problem because actually she does it not. But I don't want to disturb the wildlife. And the second um, reason why I want to have here a door is that unwanted guests don't came to this area. Because I see that the cameras of uh, the wildlife cameras often, people are coming here or looking around and then they come up here, check mm -hmm, how is the door saved. Um, can I look through the window and then when I have here a door there's a second wall and the people see aha uh -huh, the owner doesn't want that we come upstairs here. So project number two and project number three is here. I have here the solar panel from Checkery and I want to fix it up at the roof. So I have a continuing um, energy flowing here and fill up again my solar generator, my solar power station. Let's start with project number one. I know it would be dirty because I have later the needles everywhere at my body, but um, I can do nothing. So I wait till spring to do this project because over the winter months there are a lot of insects inside and maybe small animals like a mouse for example and I don't want to disturb them over the winter months. So I wait till the spring, I remove it two three meters far away and then they come go inside too and there is also at this time of the year no bird nest inside which is very important. Maybe you see that I have a camera here, a wildlife track camera. I have several of them around my cabin, of course, only for wildlife watching, because it is not allowed to use those wildlife cameras in Germany to protect um, something like this cabin. So only for wildlife tracking. I have several of them. This here is one of my best ones. If you are interested in, feel free to check out another video from me. Uh, from me. I talk about wildlife photography. I put the link to the video here down in the video description if you want. Check it out. But now enough of the talking, let's start. As you can see, I have here also a lot of branches with needles because they are falling down the whole time. So I collect them that I don't fall over them 
It looks a little bit clearer now, because, uh, but uh, forest should not be clear, of course. And it has the great positive effect that I have on a uh, side protecting wall. So that people which are coming around and come not too close to the cabin, they don't see the cabin because of this. So as you can see here, I just uh, put the branches together. Oh, I call. And then um, nobody can see through. Ja, was? Ja. It's funny how nature take everything back. So the wall, um, wall here is rotten at the under area. The, all the needles are rotten and here I have a small mushroom landscape. Very interesting. So it is a little bit difficult to remove it because it are all small pieces, but it will come to an end. It need more time than I expected, but now it is removed. Everything is away at the next wall and <laughs> I have the needles everywhere, literally everywhere. So I really need a shower tonight. I've become from my neighbor a lot of dead, even growed spruce tree um, trees. So they are all dead, but very stable still. And I bring them in one piece and just cut it here when I know the right size that I don't throw away too much wood. I don't want that the kids when they climb up the trees have all of those small wooden pieces in their hands so I remove all those dead branches. I cook you up. up. This is the branch where I put all the others on top. I fix it with paracord because um, as normally I only use natural garn in the forest, no plastic, but um, the natural garn is um, too thin and it is going damaged in a very short time and would be very dangerous if my kids are climbing there and someone is under it and it falls down because the natural garn is not so stable. So I choose paracord and I had to remove it from time to time because the tree is growing and it's getting bigger and I don't want that the string is hurting him.
start looking good. Of course, I have not finished it yet. I need more wood, but a few more um, trees, then it is ready. And I just had to fix it a little bit. And then this project is finished and I can start the next one. Project one is soon ready. So I finished the wall. What I want to do at next when I'm outside with my kids again, I want to cover this side of the wall with moss so you can't walk through, uh, see through it. And maybe also here that you have here a sleeping area with moss. I know it is wet the most time, but in the summer it's great. Um, so, and actually I am thinking about making the wall in the next months a little bit bigger. So maybe here a wall and maybe here at the other side so that I have four sides with walls. It would, in my eyes, looking great, but I'm not sure if I really should do it because this here is not my living room. It's the living room of the wildlife animals and I don't want to change too much here in the forest. I don't want to get so big here in the forest. But at the other side, the wildlife animals, I don't disturb them because you see the tracks of them when they are laying around in the night or over the day very close to the cabin. So for example, uh, three meters away from the forest cabin is a deer lying place often. And I also have them often at the wildlife cameras. So also when I'm here, I cannot really disturb them because then they wouldn't stay here. Ike and I are both hungry. So we make a food break. In the forest, everything tastes better. The next project is the door. And I haven't the right construction wood here at the cabin. Behind the cabin, there is a little bit of construction wood because there is always something to repair, but I haven't the right size. I had to choose what's there, so I had to cut it in the half. A good <laughs> construction wood. Okay, but it doesn't matter. I had to start it yet. So this is only the wood for the ground construction because I want to have it, that it looks similar the same. So if it had to look the same, I had to use spruce tree like there and cut it in a half. I don't know which kind of wood I found, so maybe there's another wood, but I, it had to look like this here, that it is one perfect view. I can't give my So that uh, I can move the door. I use this both here. I don't know the right English word. And then I have here the ground construction and I had to search again for wood. Okay, it's not so stable at this moment, but later it would be better, I'm pretty sure. The ground construction is ready, so I fixed this here for better stability. And now, of course it doesn't look great now, but I want to cover it. So here is the wood. So I think if I should cut it in a half, like this here everywhere, or should let it at one piece and just make the upper and the under area are a little bit thinner that I can um, better fix it, so I had to try it out. Ta-da! I had to fix something. 
that I can close it here with such a uh, that the dog and the kids cannot open it from inside and other people that I don't want to have here too from the outside. And the next time when I'm here I want to uh, change the color of the wood as you can see here at my toilet house. I um, colored the under construction with a dark green color and I want to do the same here by this wood because like this it shines bright from far away because it is um, such an bright color and with the green it would be a little bit more invisible. So I show it to you once at the inner side and once at the outside. So if I am at the cabin I just have this closet. So it is just a metal with holes that I fixed here and make it into this um, size and with the with this part here I close it. So very simple but it works. And when I am away from the cabin I can close it here but I show it to you from the outside. When I am away I can close it like this. And when I'm here I don't want to open and close the door the whole time if I don't need it. So I want to make here a fix point but I haven't something here that I can use yet, only a string. Um, so I had to do it the next time. So my wall from the outside. Like I told you before I want to cover this part here with moss. Uh, so you can't see anything through it and I think that the kids will use this part here for playing and climb up. So I had to look if they really use it to climb for climbing or not and if they use it not I want to cover it also with moss. Because of course those branches are wooden color, brown is a wood color, but um, with moss covered it would be like there is nothing in the background, only forest. So I, I think about close it at this side and maybe also at this side or only one side. I don't know, what are you thinking? Should I make the wall a little bit bigger or should I let it be like it is? So like I told you before, the wildlife animals are not disturbed from my activities here at the forest cabin. And of course it is not on complete closing around the cabin. Uh, it is only a little bit here in the front door area, but not complete. Okay, my plan was to finish all those three projects today, but for the solar panel it is too dark now. As you can see, it is getting darker and darker. So I had to make it the next time when I am here at the forest cabin. But I want to show you at least something inside because I um, changed something with the electricity. I've got more light inside and this is what I want to show you now. So sometimes people write me, why do, why do you have a forest cabin if you have so much luxury inside, like electricity and something like this. And I always tell the people, this here is not only a resort for me, this is also a place where I can work, where I have had my laptop cutting some videos. Uh, and then I need electricity, of course. And um, everyone had to know from himself what is too much luxury and what not. So I've got another luxury point, this LED stripe light here. Um, because this area here was always so dark. I cook here, I wash my dishes here and I don't see if it is clean or not because I have not enough light here inside of the cabin. I have my candles, I have solar lanterns and I have two electricity uh, lights. I had them in the past and this here is new. Okay, I can do this here a little bit better, but <laughs> So I've got here another lamp. There was one lamp in the past, but I changed it. So, and here I have another of those light stripes and you can, um, you can do it brighter or not so bright. And um, I have another light here because 
I like it when only uh, light is at the lowest part on and not everything um, like in a hospital, for example. So I can use it, but I can also not use it to have the cabin flare. I often get the question how I have electricity here in my forest cabin. Um, so I do it with solar. This here are two mobile solar um, echoes, batteries. So I can bring them at home and load, load them at home. Or I can load them um, over solar and energy, sun energy. So um, here in the forest I have not so much sun, so I, ha I had to switch. Sometimes I put them both with solar panel outside somewhere where I have sun, at the street in the background, back, 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 for example, or um, I just do it at home. And this here always stay here because it is too heavy, I can't carry it. Sometimes I put the energy from this into this, that it is full again. So um, I make a video about those in the future or in one of my next videos. But if you want to check it out now, you find the products in the video description down there. I can fill them up with those solar panels. Of course, I have different ones for each um, type. The solar panel, this here are those for the power oak, this monster here. And this here are those from the jackery. So um, they look at best, they are very stable. And I went to fix one of them at the roof, but like I told you before, it is too late for today. I had to do it the next time. So I finished my project for today, the next um, project I have to do at the next time. So feel free to write me in the comments, what do you think about the wall? Should I make the wall uh, longer or should I let it be like it is? And maybe you have some other ideas for the forest cabin. What do you think? Um, this is something that you need really here. Feel free to write it in the comments. So the work is always there, a lot of work. And this year I have to um, make two big projects. I had to fix the roof and I had to fix the construction wooden part down there. It was planned for last day, uh, year, but last year the wood prices for construction wood are so high that I could also cover it with silver plates uh, because it was um, too high. So this year it isn't better, but I had to do it this year. I can't wait longer. So we see us in the next video. I would be happy if you are also there and just have a great time. We see us. Bye bye.